blood-curdling screams as a realtor showing off a house comes under physical assault. The man violently pushes her into the bushes outside the home she's trying to sell. Her screams pierce the neighborhood in Encino, California. The realtor, who asked not to be identified, says she thought she was going to die. The attack left her with bruises and cuts. The entire incident was caught on security camera, including a clear picture of the attacker's face. The woman says she actually saw the guy at a previous open house and was suspicious, so she moved their conversation to the porch. Realtors and real estate brokers run the real risk of getting attacked when they're showing houses, and it happens a lot more than many of us realize. Since 2003, more than 245 real estate agents have been slain while on the job. Brianna King, a realtor with Rodeo Realty in Beverly Hills, says she's had safety concerns while selling homes. You're a target. I mean, there's more women in this industry in real estate than men, so you can never be too careful. These are complete strangers that are walking into your open house. Linda Tedesco still remembers the day this guy posed as a potential home buyer and cornered her in a walk-in closet in Florida. He pushed me to the ground, took my jewelry off, tied me up, put the uh, ties around my wrist behind my back, taped up my legs. I didn't think I was going to get out alive. <laughs> The Encino attack has so upset these real estate agents, they're getting a lesson in how to use pepper spray and stun guns to fend off bad guys. Back off! Stop following me! It is crucial that they learn self-defense, get into a class, and to have a tool with you. Because if you have something that you can use to defend yourself if it goes down, or use as a deterrent to let them know you're not a soft target, you're not an easy target, right, then they're less likely to approach you. Safety expert Steve Cardian told Inside Edition reporter Allison Hall that realtors should never turn their backs to prospective buyers. Never let him get behind you. Always lead the way so that he's in front of you. Another tip, do not follow a prospective buyer into a tight space where you won't have an exit, like a basement, closet, or a bathroom. So by not going in that restroom, I have more space, I can get to the door, and I won't be trapped in a small space like this. You are considerably safer there than you would be in here.